Hi everyone, can you believe it? We're already at day 17 of Spellbinder's Crafty Advent Calendar. And today's door revealed a seven-piece nesting die set. These dies are perfect for creating tags, but I've used it to make a series of frames which I am using on a unique Christmas card. Tape is being used to hold each pair of consecutive dies together to die cut the frames. The seventh die, which is the little tiny one, will be used on its own. The frames were die cut from different colors of cardstock, rose, coral, and a soft pink. The largest frame was also die cut from white sheet foam. A thin stream of glue is being added around the frame and then it'll be lined up to the foam die cut. Unfortunately, my foam did stretch a little bit so I just ran around the frame with my scissors to remove the excess. The largest die is used to cut a panel of dark green cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. This panel was centered right to left and bottom to top on the Christmas tile embossing folder. I'm going to adhere some gold foil cardstock to an A2 size card base. The gold foil measures four and an eighth inches by five and three eighths inches. And then my embossed panel is centered on top of that. There will be a thin reveal of gold against that dark green panel that is very striking. The die cut will be adhered to the center of the embossed panel. The largest frame, which is backed on foam, will fit snugly in that die cut opening. And then I can go ahead and add the two smaller frames centering one within the other. Gold cardstock was cut with the last die which I used as a standalone. It was adhered to the center of the series of frames. And then I'm back to the flower die set from day 10. I love this die set with its beautiful etched details. The same colors of cardstock that were used for the frames have been used to cut the various layers of the flowers. The center of the flowers were cut from gold cardstock. The little berry branch and all of the leaves were cut from the dark green cardstock and then I'll finish off this berry branch with some gold foil berries. Whenever I do a project, I'm always rifling through various sets that I have to see if I have something that might be appropriate. This cute sentiment tag die set was found in Poinsettia Tree. The outline of the tag was cut from dark green cardstock and then the outline die with the insert sentiment was used to cut gold cardstock. I have the elements temporarily laid out and I'm first going to attach that little sentiment tag. One of the dark green leaves and the berry branch will be added into the top of the tag. A foam square will be used on the small flower to adhere it to the card front, having it overlap slightly onto the tag. I'm just lifting up that leaf so that I can stabilize it with another foam square. I know I should have done it in the first place. And then I'll just add a touch of glue to adhere one of the berries to the frame. Now to work at the arrangement at the bottom of the frame. The first thing that I'm going to do is tack two of those dark green leaves together. For the larger flower, I'll add two foam squares that will straddle the foam backed frame. And another foam square will hold the medium sized flower slightly overlapping the larger one. And then all that's left to do for this arrangement is to tuck in the leaves. Some pretty coral half pearls have been added to the flower centers. I've also added in some additional pearls in and around the two floral arrangements. And that completes this unique Christmas card featuring Spellbinders Day 17 of the Crafty Advent Calendar. I hope you'll join me for a fun card for Day 18. As always, I appreciate your visit.